wonder if I can do a little comparison just for myself. It just occurred to me that I'm not a perfect, uh, I'm not a perfect person. <laughs> I do make mistakes. Um, I'm wondering if I can just compare, you know, one of these just really quick to a couple of other brands, but not really do like a brand comparison, right? Just do, whoa, is that some kind of, that didn't happen before. Let's just be like one little spot. Anyway, so I don't want to, uh, I don't want to assume that, um, that didn't happen the last time that I did this. I guess you can find. So anyway, I just want to double check my meters, make sure everything is working okay. There are hot spots like I saw before, but that's not what this is really for. I want to make sure there's nothing crazy. No, I guess it is double checked. Okay, so cool. It still dissipates like before. We've got electrics. We've got electrics. We've got electrics, me no touch. <laughs> me no touch. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna turn those off. I'm gonna turn this off. And just out of curiosity, I'm curious. I don't wanna turn this into like brand war, but without stopping the video, I do kind of wanna leave the meters running and just go look at a couple of other saunas, not make it a comparison necessarily about particular brands, but I would like to uh, check and see how my meters perform against other heaters, right? You can't even see that. You see it this way? There we go. So that's baseline. Similar environment. Right? Because the sauna's not turned on. So let me turn sauna on. And then that little <clears throat> heaters on indicator is there. So now the heaters are on and we should see some type of uh, increase. And we do. So we've got two, three, kind of very similar to the other sauna that I was just in. Cool, okay. And if we just double check and make sure that the meters are working correctly in a different sauna, different environment. Just to kind of see. Now let me turn these, let me turn heaters off. Let me turn entire control panel off. So now heaters are not on anymore. And let's go back just to see if meters are working correctly. And they do appear to be, I mean, in my judgment, to the best of my knowledge, these would seem to be <coughs> functioning correctly. So let's check that again. Um, I've got another sauna right next to this one that I know to be pretty high EMF. I just want to check for myself. We're going to save the high one for, for last, but let me turn the lights on and the sauna off. So sauna is not actually on. And so we got our baselines, environments relatively similar. Okay, so now let's Turn this sauna on. And it's not at a particular temperature, right? Like I just turned it on. It's, it says it's 69 degrees in here. Heaters are on. Uh, let's turn bench top on so that all the heaters are on. No tomfoolery. And see what kind of an increase we get. So we did get a little bit of an increase. And I'm sure I could find a hot spot along here somewhere, but just want to make sure that my meters are working effectively.
actually it went up to one. Was that me moving it or was that a hotspot? Because there is a hotspot somewhere in here. And I've got this thing shoved up under the grate. So we are in there, in there. We'll double check with this guy. There's got to be a hotspot. I knew it. I knew there was some some type of there's there's a hot spot in every sauna like the one that we were just in there was a hot spot of like four is that me moving it i think it was me moving it i can't tell anyway so my meters appear to be working effectively at least i would say and as long as it's gauging where did that go anyway as long as it's gauging hot spot drop off rate effectively, which I believe it is. So how much space is that? So if I've got it on the wood grate where that is, I wanna make sure that this drops off. Okay, cool. So, oops, I should leave that on the whole time, shouldn't I? So let's go into a sauna that I know is gonna perform poorly um, and just see how my meters compare so you turn the light on and just so you can see it was set to 170 and we're gonna go in oops oops i'm screwing up aren't i let's turn the power off so now the heaters are off and then let's check the environment which is the same as pretty much the others crazy going on. Okay, leave those on. Turn the heaters back on. And now I'll see what we get. So which one do we leave off with? This one we've got 58 milligauss. We've got 69 milligauss. We've got 80, 94 milligauss. Okay, let's check this. We have 65, now let's come out to the backrest. We've got almost 40, and then come out another couple inches, drops to 15, and a little more, 10. Okay, cool. So it seems like this is pretty consistent. Whether the meter calibration would be, you know, different compared to somebody else's meter, for the most part, this is a good representation of uh, what's taking place. You gotta come out pretty far to get this to drop off too, by the way. This is one of the higher, um, one of the higher EMF saunas that I've ever checked. But just as a comparison to make sure that my meters are working correctly, um, you know, and to make sure that there's not a lot of human error here. 